Hello and brothers and welcome back to another video where I've just finished the concept of this video and I forgot to do an intro. So, hello! <laughs> Knowing how long it's took me to do this might be the last time I do this type of video idea. <laughs> Depending on if you enjoy it or not because this, ah, oh, this was a very interesting video idea. I went through the trenches making this because I wanted to do a video out of context and I know there's like that first and last series that other YouTubers do. So I just thought, let's up it a notch. Let's do a first and last season edition. Unique, right? <laughs> so the scheming is we'll be binge watching the first full season of Bridgerton. We're doing Bridgerton, by the way. And the last season, the latest season, season three that just came out. Because it's the internet and dumb ideas are made for this. <laughs> Let me know after you've watched if you like this idea and what other shows you'd want me to potentially do to this. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Or not, if you don't. <laughs> Yeah, I can't tell you what to do. It, roll the transition. Uh -huh. This may either be the best or worst decision of my life. Dearest reader, the time has come to place our bets. Oh, it's f British. Oh, we're already off to a bad start, ladies and gentlemen. Featherington. Bavel Featherington. Corsets. I don't know how women wore corsets. Like, how did you all breathe wearing them, man? I was an orange and a half when I was Prudence's age. Your sister shall do the same. <laughs> if I have to go through that torture, so do you. Bridgerton. Perfectly handsome sons, beautiful daughters. Bridgerton is a period piece. I always thought a period piece. How do I keep this under the age of 13? I thought a period piece was a, a going of age showing a woman going through her teenage years. It didn't cross my mind that I was actually to do with the time period. Um, yes, I know I am dumb. I know that might be the most dumbest thing you've probably heard all day. And you're welcome. I shall run upstairs and hasten her along. Daphne! In today's age, that's come here, slut! <laughs> I can already tell you, this is the main character of the show. Where is he, Benedict? I do not know. <gasps> he, he is sh He is sh Oh, I'm seeing cheeks. Anthony. What in the sideburns is that? I never understand that. Why, why do they have sideburns all the way to the cheek? Just shave it off, man. It's like you've glued pubic hair to it. London's marriage-minded missus are presenting. Right, so they're presenting who's marriage material? Only the queen's eye that matters today. Oh my God, her rejection made her collapse. So they get presented towards this queen who now has to judge them on whose marriage material for someone? Flawless, my dear. <laughs> Flawless, my dear. You're no one dear who's clapped his ears. Oh my God, it's the guy's cheeks I saw. Here's guns. That means there might be death in this. My name is Lady Whistledown. Is that a gossip magazine? You do not know me. I certainly know you. Is this the plot of the whole movie? Fucking snitches get stitches. <laughs> what was it the Queen called you again? Flawless. I trust her is astonished. Did you see the look she just gave her? Fucking bitch. <gasps> she is so jealous of her. Lady Whistledown cannot be her true name. His name Daphne is the season's incomparable. This is a gossip newspaper and the fact that we've been just told we'll never know her makes me put my detective glasses on. I bet you have already seen her. Hurry with your miniatures before our guest arrives. And Penelope, put down that book at once. Yeah, right. Confuse your thoughts by reading. Who reads in this evil? The very first season. She is, is two stone heavier than she ought to be. I mean, that's just a shit thing to say. I know we're already five minutes into it. Penelope's already my favourite character. Not only does she read, she owns who she is. How much competition can this cousin provoke? And as for her appearance... Yeah, she's going to be hot. Featherington's cousin has arrived, madam. Ah, she's so raging! <laughs> Damn it! She's perfect for the marriage. <laughs> okay, well, this guy has main character in the too. All right, so far, Daphne and I think him are going to be the main antagonists of this show. My condolences, your grace. Your grace? Very oh my God, I thought he was a villain. I mean, he still could be a villain, but he's rich. You hated the man. So he hates his father. Eligible Duke present at tonight's fete. The Duke is single, but is he ready to mingle? Was a brief appearance. Excellent. You may leave that to Floss. I don't like her. Me, 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 me Why are all the people's sideburns getting cat? You have me. I will always protect you. Right, so she's going to die then? Either he's not protecting her, 
or he's going to betray her. For every darling debutante will be on display. Right, so we've got the first ball of the season. So if you don't get picked, you become a regular at this party. <laughs> they have been raised and trained for since birth. Oh, Penelope wants to be end up with him. Who is this bitch he's dancing with? I don't like her. Penelope deserves the world. They are playing the instrumental cover of Thank You Next by Ariana Grande in 1813. Ariana stole music from 200 years ago. She didn't have anything to do with the unpaid balance you left on our betting books when to last. Oh, you owe him money. Oh my, oh my God. The disrespect, he just said, you're poor. <laughs> I shall not have you making life with a poet, heaven forbid. Anthony. Oh, a man without sideburns. This is the best character. I've yet to see you on the dance floor. Lady Danbury. Poor thing. People are quite savage, aren't they? One of the Bridgerton boys is joining the swarm. I imagine your household will be a hive of co- Basically, your house is going to be a sex dungeon. <laughs> I'm quite parched. Then I shall fetch you a glass of lemonade. No, you've already done so much. Basically, stop cock-blocking me, please. You've always amused me, Miss Bridgerton, but since I was a schoolboy and you were- Five? Oh, oh, oh you nasty f***ing criminal. Miss Bridgerton! Please, someone help me. <gasps> Yes! Oh my god, wait, how did I not see this happening? Duke of Hastings, now known forevermore. Oh, the Duke of Hastings, is it? No, I'm interested. <laughs> Nary a gentleman here would not take your hand. If anyone knows how this works, it is your eldest brother. This guy's ego is far too crazy. Which gentleman will be the very first to call? Well, let us get you dressed. Maroon 5. Who approved of this playlist? This is criminal. Call us, ma'am. For a Miss Marina Thompson? Ah! Penelope's loving it! <laughs> I love how she has no interest in getting married and just finds it hilarious that all her siblings are getting rejected. Should you not be out on your daily walk about the square? Yes, let me look at Maria Thompson. Or cheating on you right in front of your eyes. All must know what the Queen despises more than anything. Cats, it seems like. <laughs> the season's true incomparable living under her own roof. She hates it. And so high in her instep that she's unable to don her own slipper. You hate her that bad. The servants she's hired to do want her to stop working for her. Might attend the upcoming Salisbury Ball by yourself. Anthony has already replied on our behalf. Anthony is such a control freak. Call her for Miss Bridgerton. Someone needs to kill him. Affections were already engaged. You and I were destined for each other. <laughs> Shut the f so happy as sideburns. It backs my story, okay, of anybody that has sideburns in this show. I don't trust them. <laughs> Burbrick is harmless. There'll be others. Whistledown has all but declared me ineligible. Oh, who is Lady Whistledown? This feels like a detective story for me now. Because I'm usually quite good at predicting things. To find a husband that I should be worthless. You're a Bridgerton. Would be easier if I were not. She wants to get disowned. What, would you rather be a worthing feather? Or whatever they're called, feather worthing? I don't think so. Lady Whistledown has written about you again, Your Grace. Don't think he cares. The Duke has no plans of ever marrying. Right, so who's he going to marry? I think he's going to marry Daphne. That's already my prediction. The Hastings, you, you can't stop calling me that. It's my father's name. Never mind. Nah, he's so cool, man. And he has the full beard too. I'm loving this guy. It is your plan to f her forever? I'm in possession of something that you are not. Brothers. <laughs> I thought he was going to save. <laughs> you could always send the willow back to a farm. So oh, Penelope's such a mood, man. Like something big's going to happen to her, man. She's far too pure. Will it be just the two of us? Yet again. Oh, I wouldn't even burn that couch. You must remember my daughter. She made quite an impression, however fleeting it may have been. Oh, you are worthless now. I've seen the two of them have that much in common then. What are you suggesting? What are you suggesting? The Duke is quite fond of gooseberry pie. A dish my cook is renowned for. Right, so they're instigating that. They're basically going to misdirect Lady Whistledown by getting the two to be a fake couple so that she stops writing about them. And it just goes up. Wait, what just happened? This is like some interloper living in Bloomsbury. People there actually work for a living. Oh, wow, well, look at you, shaming social classes. Could it be Lady Featherington? No. <laughs> is Lady Whistledown even a lady? I think it might be a man. And ourselves seated beside each other. I'd like to think you're happy about that. Thank you for thinking about me at all. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Oh, playing hard to get, huh? I'm anything but interested in you. And I anything but interested in you. That's the type of chemistry where it's like, I hate you. I hate you more than just end up kissing. <laughs> you must stay for dessert. It's gooseberry pie. Lovely. Lies. I believe the two of you to be friends. We are good friends. Why I know he has absolutely no intention of marrying. Well, I don't think you know your friend that well. <laughs> this guy's self-importance is so aggravatingly annoying. <laughs> He's my eldest daughter. And she has my responsibility. Turn to your bachelor lodgings across the square. Will you pay a visit to a certain soprano? Ah! <gasps> oh! You deserve that, Anthony. Oh my God, get destroyed by your own mum. Are you merely an older brother or are you the man of this house? <laughs> Nah, nah, she just ended his whole career, man. Actually, just an awe. I, I, I can't believe how much I'm loving this so far. I cannot see you anymore. <laughs> of course, of course. Even though you just swore that you would always protect her. <laughs> All because of your ego getting in the way. I must do what is necessary. You said you would always protect me. <laughs> Bullshit. There is but one thing that humbles a scandal. There's a scandal. I, I did not know you would be here. Oh, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Have you seen Miss Thompson? No, I'd be interested in the horror man. I believe you and me a dance this evening. How convenient. <gasps> nah, you dickhead. I am to escort Miss Featherington to the floor. His sideburns are passable. This is what I'm talking about. This theory is living proof this exists. This guy's a Legend. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I hope there are a couple. These two are my favourite. If you're to marry him, it should be just as easy for you to fall in love with Lord Burbrook as with anyone else. All because his mum made him realise how much of a failure he's actually doing for Daphne. He just said, sod it and marry the people. This guy has no care for his sister. He just wants to get the job done with so he can feel good about himself again. Been over a month since your arrival. And you haven't bled. No way. She didn't get her period. Wait, she's pregnant? The way this woman's husband has always kept looking at her. Did she have... Did she... Shut up! And Lord Featherington hears of this. Do you even know who the father is? Your husband. To be around people like you. So out of touch. So superior. Oh, no, that was a good bitch slap though. I can't lie. Whatever are you doing? My brother, he made a mistake. Do you think yourself better than me? Please kill him. What are you doing? Find out soon enough. Stop it! The <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome! I'm alone with two men. I believe you're only with one man. Marry me, Miss Bridges. Okay, you, you didn't punch him hard enough. I need some violence, man! Come on! I know what this lady Whistledown has written. Perhaps there is an answer. Get together. We could pretend to form an attachment. Who can play the gossip monger at its own game? The mother in town will leave me alone and every suitor will be looking at you. Oh, this is so clever. It must be precisely what we are. Me, unavailable. You, desirable. Oh, this really gets your head mechanics working. Why did you do not wish to marry me? And I do not wish to marry you. Whatever should you have to lose? If you've seen the movie Anyone But You, this is so similar. Oh, it's so, so pretty. So they've gone into this not wanting to actually marry each other but just stop the whistle down from gossiping about them but will they end up falling in love with each other has captured the interest of the newly returned duke of hastings plan has worked anyone shall reveal the circumstances of this match it is i so the gossip girl is going to do everything in her power to find out how this came to fruition i feel like they're going to succeed as well all right that's episode one i'm pretty confident in my prediction that lady whistle down is actually a man Grace. What is it? It's a human. It is a boy, your grace. Oh, the gender. <laughs> I thought it was like, are you pushing an alien? What? <laughs> I have a son. I love how he has just no interest in his wife. Your wife's actually dying. Yeah, she's dead. A perfect son. The next Duke of Hastings. Is that why he hates his father? Because it seems to me he did not give a shit about his wife. His wife just died and they all applauded. The relevance is one Miss Daphne Bridgerton. I have no interest in causing a scandal, Miss Bridgerton. You should imagine with you it comes naturally. <laughs> is that flirting? I hear. That Miss Thompson's condition. This is to be a baby. That will be enough. I know someone. This child. Oh my god, are you actually grassing? How does 
lady come to be with child? It's a question. I thought one needed to be married. Oh, bless her pure soul. She actually thinks, oh yeah, the reason you become pregnant is by marriage. Oh. I take it the two of you? No? Do not look at me. Have you ever visited a farm? I mean, it's not like they made a cake and you just pop out the oven. They do not know that sex works. What is happening? Why is he still alive? I thought she was going to be like one punch girl. Just f***ing him into the stratosphere. Herbert, you must go. You gave me your word. And I intend to keep it. The only one I thoroughly consider. I love how the person he's trying to wife knocked him unconscious and he's still interested. I should like to know what is going on. Best friend has married your sister. Promising me to Nigel Burbrook. Anthony, tell me you did not. He's a fine choice. I looked into him. The fine choice. He was only interested in her when she was an adolescent, when she was a child. Yes, because that's looking out for your sister, right? This little rebellion is to do with Hastings. They promenaded this morning and he sent flowers. Expensive. That's how you know he's serious. Can you get some flowers from the garden? It means I hate you. The contract to Burbrook will be drawn up and you shall marry him. Just die, Anthony. You should marry him if you want it so badly. <laughs> This better not be the only violence I see in this series. I expect their death. Are you going to come down here or must I come up there? Are you courting my sister? Yes, now kill him. She is my sister. <laughs> this is why I should have killed him. Burbrook is a wholly unworthy suitor for Miss Bridges. He's never seen going in and out of brothels, at least. Weren't they meant to be friends? I swear friends don't talk about it like that towards one another. But surely you can understand that family must come before all else. And that's why you want to wed her to a pe to me, damn you. You are scaring And me. if that's what it should take, I shall get a s <laughs> What is he doing? He's an imbecile. Your grace. You are so nasty. I had a speech impediment when I was four or five, and I don't appreciate being called an imbecile. Thank you very much. A half wit! <laughs> Out of my sight. This boy is dead to me. Yeah, if I had the surname of that man, I would legally change my name to... Marina, may I ask, how did it happen? Oh no, I have a bad feeling. Sir George Crane. Where is Sir George now? Hush, boom. He continued to write. Right, so it wasn't the wife's husband. It was a guy called George Crane. It was actually a romantic relationship with someone she loves. That's how she's pregnant. I mean, that's kind of cute. It was love, Penelope. Yeah, love. To marry, have a child with someone you love. That's what this whole shtick is all about, no? She's basically completed the whole of Bridgerton. Tell me my husband is dead. Do not believe so, your majesty. Then tell him I am occupied. <laughs> Unless my husband is dead, I don't give two shits. <laughs> I am invited to a private tea with the queen in two days time. <laughs> She's like, yes, my aristocrat dreams are becoming a reality. I'm no longer in these social cues of Poverty classes. Not a word about you from your father, yet here you are alive. Sadly for his father's sake. Lady Danbury, my lord. Ah, oh, does she like raise him as like one of her own? Can no, not eek. Oh, my heart. There is only so long one in a position such as ours can hide. And look, ah, oh, giving him words of encouragement. Actually being a parent figure in his life. This woman's a legend. And you step into the light will be worthy of the attention you command. I got a I wasn't a big fan of her at the start, but my respect levels have went through the roof for her now. Uh -huh. Of course, my number. Oh, why would you let him touch you? You deserve so much better. He'll be glued to my side all evening. I'm so bored of looking at this guy's face. My intentions with respect to your sister. A surprise, I have long coveted. For her powerful right hook. <laughs> <laughs> he attempted something last night I shall dignify with words when your sister plants her face sir. Now if you're a good brother, bear beat the living sh** out of him. You surely told me if this were true, would she? You will never speak to my sister again. Ah! Anthony actually looking out for his sister? You need not worry about Burbrook. Sister, it is done. You told him. Yes, and he just saved your ass now. He will no longer pester you. This is your knight in shining armour. I think I shall take the air tonight. Only me, your grace. You follow me, Burbrook. Okay, nah, what's his actual deal now? This guy's like a human version of sour milk. Like, nobody f likes you, f off. I need her to be able to miss Bridgerton. When I'm buying a horse, I do not negotiate with the horse. <laughs> nah, man, that's a violation, man. <laughs> I've heard the stories of your father, Hastings. Your poor mother could not deliver. How about you see Hastings murder this man in broad daylight? <laughs> yeah, boy. Shoot it. Oh! 
Oh my god, there's no mercy. No, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. What are you doing? <laughs> like, you're telling me you only gave me like five punches of violence? This guy does not deserve to be in the show anymore. I'm receiving high marks in all of my studies, sir. <gasps> I even... You are my worst failure. Oh. Oh. You are as useless as your mother proved to be. I don't think I've seen a show where I've seen two characters this insufferable this early on. I would see Anthony's cheeks again to make sure these two never come on the screen again. What have you learned from your maid? How did it happen? She said it was love. What is love? Don't you just marry? <laughs> what else did she say? Was she not frightened? She wants to escape to the country where she and her love will marry. Oh, she's so eager to find out the gossip. I still think Lady Whistledown's a man, but this girl here is so intrigued in the gossip. You only change your mind about Lord Bearbrook because another man told you the truth. Oh, you know that's so true. We must promenade past a group of men playing their games up ahead. Promenade? <laughs> this series is far too posh for me, man. <laughs> I've never once been like, oh, I'm going to promenade and kick a ball about. <laughs> it is no matter if you wish to marry for love, do you not? Of course I do. I'm telling you, man, they're going to fall in love with the charade. Special license for my wedding to Miss Bridgerton. There is to be no wedding. I have the very best the Ton has to offer. I have a Bridgerton. That's what I mean. He sh Hastings should have just killed him. There's no way they're actually going to follow through with Daphne marrying that dimwit. I mean, this isn't like the 21st century. This is actually in the 1800s. There's no DNA at this point. Just stab him a little bit. No one's going to know. Should Lord Burbrook decide to make good on his threat before you shoot him dead? You literally just said how to stop this. Marriage is the best that life has to offer. And that remains true. Not if it's to a will find much joy, I am certain. I mean, you're just lying to her. <laughs> Let's be real here. I watched Daphne prepare for these balls, many suitors, and I am exhausted. <laughs> I ain't getting that d I'm over it. <laughs> Give me something new. <laughs> God, Matt, the set design in this show has been so good. I've been hell impressed. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I guess Queen's a stressful job. <laughs> would you not agree? Why, yes. Yes, I would. I don't understand what just happened. We are to invite Lady Burbrook over for tea, Mrs. Wilson, at once. I am so puzzled how they get out of this. Nigel is my one and only child. You conceived Nigel. Oh, your womb sucks. Why did, why did your womb make him? I prize accomplishment over beauty. Yeah, so my son's a gold digger. That's basically what she's saying there. Burbrook has a boy by one of his maids that he refused to provide for. Oh, she's went to Lady Borbrook's to get the maids to spill the gossip because that's what they do. And now she's going to use that against Nigel. Over a man's work. They will if Lady Whistledown does. We shall do what women do. We shall talk. <laughs> you don't say it. It has come to this author's attention. Nah, girls are a bunch of schemers, man. No, this show is about to make me never trust what I say to a girl again. Lord Bedrock recalled away to the country, sending some much overdue funds to one former maid. Yeah, I'm loving this happening to this guy, though. I've heard talk that Burbrick has left town. Yeah, your mother's a genius. Your sister, when she decides to marry the Duke. Perhaps your bride would like the same. <laughs> what bride? I mean, the one that he was sworn to protect, he dumped. Eloise, you mustn't work. You're not frightened, that. too, sister, of marriage. Girl, what are you spouting about? I'm going to be honest, I have no clue what she's talking about. You should not have lost your temper with your bad work. God, they really have picked the worst pop playlist, haven't they? No offence to you, Sean Mendes lovers out there. They should call me by my name. Simon. Is there something funny? I mean, for someone as dashing and good looking, being called Simon does lower that scale a bit, I can't lie. I wish to find a husband. Children. And let's find your husband. You're looking at it. There's no way I'm wrong. There's no way they don't end up together. Whatever is bothering you. Nothing at all. Come on, look at the love in his eyes. Same can be said about this guy. My heart may be failing. How are you? But I assure you. When he's dying, he talks. Shut up, man. I will never marry. The Hastings lion will die with me. <gasps> you fucking monster. <laughs> I love how this guy has tried so long probably to survive. Once his son just said the Hastings name dies. Mission failed. Oh, this show is a lot. 
All right, so far we've learned how to be proper etiquette, how to be a player, how to solve racism, but sexism, they've not conquered that quite yet. Maybe, maybe soon. Well, we're ready to see our first kiss. Oh, it was a dream. Oh wait, she's actually, I thought, wait, wait, she actually is falling in love with him, I think. Suitor of note. Okay, now, yeah, so who eats like that? How long does it take for a letter to arrive from Spain? He's already making his way back to you here. There may not even be a letter. He might be dead. And you shall do it as soon as possible. It's about time you dress in the family colours anyway. What are the family colours? Black and white or something? <laughs> what about the Duke? The Duke has not prepared us for mass. You know what, Anthony just got a from hearing that. <laughs> is my general ready for battle? I was born ready. This flirtation talk is, oh, uh, is something. Tell me, my lord, do you prefer the city or the country? I mean, you have to pick country. If you prefer the city, then you're just, you're just a proud extrovert. <laughs> Ours introverts, nah, they say ain't for us, man. I purchased my first land down when I left Oxford. I've acquired two more since. Yeah, she's turned off by that. The show's playing up that Hart and Simon are going to be together. One, that's too obvious. And secondly, there's a vow. There's a vow that he's not going to bear children. How do they end up together and officially and wanting it? So lovely to meet you, Miss Bridgerton. Your gown, it is... Is that Wolverine? What the hell is around his head? <laughs> oh, this bitch gives no crap. Man, the disrespect is intolerable. <laughs> I shall find myself a wealthy, sensible gentleman one who will never break his word. <laughs> Good luck finding that. <laughs> I'll flame ourselves. Us men. <laughs> you are respectful, and yet I know you have no intention of marriage. Has that changed? So does he know about his pact that he can't marry and doesn't want children? Are you familiar to me, my lord? Or is it your grace? What do you? Call a duke. I love how I'm categorically British and even I don't know. Might I entice you to take in one of my performances sometime soon? Perhaps tomorrow night? I feel, so, I feel some scientism towards her. I feel like something bad is gonna happen. I don't trust it. You know the reason he is so opposed to marriage. He barely knew his father. I'm sorry. I, I can't believe it. I'm watching a series that's a period piece, has a bunch of scenes, and they're drinking milk like it's vodka. <laughs> Expected to finally rejoin the season. I've said to get measurements wrong. Wow, she's basically saying you're fat. Miss Marina Thompson, a distant cousin of my husband's. I'm sorry, right? Why does every old guy in this look like a wet flip flop? It's much too cold. Perhaps we should ask the artist. Well, that would be something. Mr. Granville. <laughs> nah, she's a legend. I think you would love the music of Vienna. Nah, you know her objectives have changed when she would have bet her hand off to be with a prince. Now all she sees is eyes for Simon. Fooling Lady Whistledown. Have her utterly convinced that we are mad for each other. You are magically in love with him. You literally had a wet dream. <laughs> it's a favourite of my mother's. I have never understood why. It is very beautiful. She's saying all the right things right now. This one is intimate. You know this is the most genuine chemistry they've had so far. I should be locking up now, miss. Are you sure there are no gentlemen lingering about the gallery? Oh, he completely forgot about you. No, no. Wait, he did not completely forget about you. He just didn't want anything to do with you now. <laughs> Telling you, man, this fake relationship is becoming genuine. If this gossip sheet is correct, then her heart is already spoken for. You are a prince. Charm her. Ah, he gotta get his literal prince charming on. <laughs> I've been that blinded. I thought everyone in the series was automatically just an aristocrat. That I forgot that there was even a suggestion there actually is a poor society class in this. Why have you brought me here? I wanted you to see your future firsthand. She's actually class shaming. You're going to be like these peasants if you don't marry someone royalty. <laughs> I've written to him beautiful love letters. And has he written back to you ever since informing him? Wait, wait, to be fair, she's got a good point. Maybe once he found out she was with child, he went and got some milk. <laughs> one should marry one's dearest friend. He's suggesting I marry your brother. <laughs> that is what I sound like, to be fair. There are other things, physical, that bring a couple together. She wants to have sex with you. No one else will tell me anything. You will know when you know. <laughs> you will know when you are doing it, Daphne. <laughs> when you are alone. When I am sleeping. Not. Not when you are sleeping, girl. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> when you touch yourself. She has no clue. That? <laughs> I bet you that's what she's thinking. <laughs> Eventually you reach pinnacle. 
And that should help you. Did you see the way he just snapped at his transfer? He was so getting turned on with describing what to do. If you are merely dallying with her. Because Bridgerton is far from a fool. Whatever happens in this show, she's a real one. Like, she's the only character I genuinely trust. Even Simon and Daphne. I still have a bit of skepticism there. Whistledown is a woman. Therefore, she has nothing. And still, she writes. Maybe it is a woman. <laughs> Maybe I'm just thinking about this too deep. Is it you? No. Though if it were, do you honestly think that I'd admit it? See, the fact he's instigating that, that she could be worse down, is making me believe it's not. But there is that a double bluff. Ah, the show's playing with me. I'm usually so good at knowing. She's thinking about Simon while doing it. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Our ruse should hereby need to end. Have I done something wrong? So before I corrupt you, in fact. <laughs> corrupt you? Don't you know you're talking to an independent lady who had no clue what Sparrowser was? <laughs> we'll have some business to I wish to leave. Oh, that's so sad. He wants to leave so badly. He just wants to forget about everything because he's actually developed feelings for Daphne. I do not sit here merely waiting for your visit. Come back to me. Come back to you? You're the one that left, Anthony. I cannot be your fool again. And you trusted Anthony of all people? You deserve to get backstabbed. From Sir George, he's written back to you. What does he say? You got dumped? I know that's cool, but that'd be so funny. You pretend there was nothing between us. <laughs> oh, nah. Am I evil? Am I Am I not a good person? Leave. Oh, it is quite exact, ma'am. No. Shut up. Come to learn the truth about men one way or another, Farley. We have done what is right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's gonna learn the truth about men anyway. But how what? Women are deceiving? Miss Thompson, why to have you next dance? I'd be delighted, my lord. Did people back then just move on from heartbreak that quickly? Everyone's gonna look up. <laughs> she knows she's the shit. Ah, no way! <laughs> You've got the prince acting like a hungry puppy. Miss Bridgerton seems to have finally grown tired of waiting for him. Could he not maybe break his vow of marriage, get married, keep the vow of not having children? Maybe she may be understanding. Chat! Uh, so it turns out my face camera recorded went completely black screen for this episode, but it will be back for the rest of the video after I realise when it finished. So enjoy the audio commentary for episode four in the meantime. Sister of a princess. Calm yourself. I'm not yet engaged to the prince. And she'll never be. She's still in the fields for Simon. The prince is going to find out. I am leaving England. My business is concluded. Wills is not. Yeah, but he's down bad for Mrs. Bridge. If you were a friend, you should know this. It's hoes before bros. Miss Thompson is not receiving visitors. I'm here to call on... Miss Featherington. <laughs> Even the mum's in disbelief. <laughs> 40 shillings on Mr. Gillespie. You're gonna get broke. And you two just need to make out. Just, just do it, man. How have, we, how have we seen everyone make out apart from they two? England, and I have often thought there's no better place to live. This guy does seem very nice, but his voice is something you'd hear of like Frozen. You've either got a Frozen voice actor or Simon who's just casually rolling up his sleeves so sexy, like, no way Daphne does not pick him. <laughs> oh, this guy's gonna be in the poor class soon. Did you truly take your sister to a boxing match? He did, and it was glorious. Just ask for my permission to propose. Wait, what? Whatever you decide, you shall have my support. Wait, is Anthony becoming civil? He actually is caring for his sister now. You look beautiful, as always. You could have chosen anyone. And you could have chosen a smaller forehead. I could tattoo my country on that forehead, and you're too busy being jealous of Daphne. Why is this painting here and not at Somerset House? Oh, the fact that painting they both talked about has had a change of heart. His change his priorities is so cute. Mr. Bridgerton, come in. Is he gay? Don't think Mr. Bridgerton is, but I think the artist is. Thinking perhaps you are Lady Whistledown. <laughs> oh, she even she can't believe it. Eloise sucks as a detective. And it's going to bother me greatly if she's the one that finds who Lady Whistledown is. From the moment I laid eyes on you, I, uh... Oh, God. Oh, this guy is so cringe. One question to ask, Miss Bridgerton. I need a moment. Oh, Simon, please save her. Miss Bridgerton. Yes! Just kiss now, come on! I came to say goodbye. To whom? To you. Oh, shut up! Please! Miss Bridgerton! Wait, something something bad's about to happen, isn't it? Do it, do it, do it! Oh my god! Finally! Oh, she wants it. Ah, to be honest, I wouldn't even be surprised if they do it in the garden. Shut up! Oh! 
Anthony, this is the wrong time to start caring for her, man. I must demand satisfaction. A duel. Are they having a full on duel? We're getting an Anthony Simon face off. This could be the greatest thing I've ever seen of Simon once. Mr. Bridgerton is so perfect. I believe he will propose soon. Marina. No, no, no. She's taking the piss. She can't be this thick. Look at Penn's face. She's clearly not comfortable with you talking about taking her man. What if you get yourself killed? Title and estates will pass to you. Anthony legit might die. This is plausible. I've actually got a hard on even thinking about it. So I need another if I'm to be a second. I cannot let you. You cannot stop me. Okay, Lady Danbury and him are the real ones. These are the people you need in your life. You deprive me the luxury of sleep. I duel at dawn. I love how she's like, wait, you might die. Okay, maybe I could start caring about you again. <laughs> It wouldn't be a final Anthony hurrah without some piece action. I found your ledgers. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Stop gambling. I am sorry. Your apology is worth nothing to me. Wow, I can't believe I'm about to watch two ex-friends try to shoot each other. <laughs> Imagine Daphne just jumps in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did you just get shot? Oh good god. Oh my god, I actually thought Anthony just killed her sister. Cressida Calper witnessed us in the garden, she knows. Wait, forehead saw you? Daphne, I cannot. Wow, this guy would actually die than marry her. That's so sad. You must know if we were to wed, I can never give you children. Right, but could you not adopt children? Get married and adopt. The Duke and I are to be married. Oh, she's gave. No, she's gave up. <gasps> oh, oh my I can't believe how much I'm enjoying this show. I'm so invested. I'm engaged. So you will be a princess. I uh, know I. Duke, Duke, Dukes? I'm engaged to the Duke. Are you to be a Duchess? Oh, Duchess! Dukes, oh my god. I'm getting dumber every single video. No, this is actually getting a bit worrying now. Love, such things happen much more frequently than one might expect. Your father and I. I do not need to know that you're a horny piss and sh every morning. I do not need to know that, thank you. Only the best for Miss Bridgerton and my nephew. Yeah, the wedding's off. Officially betrothed to the Duke of Hastings. <laughs> Look at that smirk in his face. <laughs> oh, little does he know. You should be grateful. The only thing I'm grateful for is that I am not you. <laughs> Some of the roles they give each other are comical. Then I can only wish you a lifetime of contentment with your new husband. What? He's showing compassion and understanding. This guy is a pathetic excuse of a prince. Do you bring the bar with you, boy? Look how depressed he looks at the fact he's marrying her. <laughs> Simon, look at me. Break my virginity, please. <laughs> Simon, Simon, wh why? Why are you doing this? Tell me what she means. Leave the young lady alone. Have you not done enough? <laughs> A bushel of tomatoes, perhaps. Ben hates tomatoes. Ah, oh, shut up. Colin is young. He is from seriously thinking about marriage, and I would hate to think. See, if Penelope really was Lady Whistledown, she could destroy Marina right now. So I don't think it is her then. Man Fury is back in fortune. Married with the prince purely to rouse the Duke's jealousy, and then you lured him into those gardens to trap him into marriage. She's calling you a s, basically. Just as you are now, unmarried and untitled. Go on, girl. I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at that forehead. I am happy for them. Everyone is happy for them. You have read of what your dear Vistle down writes. There's actually a sweet character in this. I'm getting so bamboozled. Her well-being is my responsibility now. I must apologize for uh, shooting you with a pistol. I've been denied our request for a special license. The Archbishop did not see a need. It is the Queen. Oh, <laughs> this Queen is so petty. <laughs> Tell her you are in love. You can do that, can you not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I will question her love too. Without what they've been doing, what they've been saying, is it genuine? I mean, as the viewers know it is, but if I'm in her shoes, I'm like, what the fuck are you actually feeling? Please, come in. This guy is loving the dream, man. Is this a broth or something? What the hell? So he is gay. God, they kicked you up. Well, marrying the girl truly be so bad. Ever since Simon's figured out he's marrying Daphne, his life went 
<laughs> I have invited Lord Rutledge to dine with us. You should be lavishing me with gratitude. I mean, he did do an analogy on poor starving children. Kind of bad to feel sympathy for her in any regard. If I have not secured a proposal from Mr. Bridgerton by then, I shall accept Lord Rutledge. Ah, uh, she's playing the cards right with this deal. You're either gonna get rich or she's gonna marry the person you put her up with. My king. No need for the formality, Lottie. He's alive Sorry. and clapped. Can you bring her to me? Amelia was ill several years ago. The king has memory loss? What has this woman done to my child? Majesty. No, what have you done? Oh my god, that is heartbreaking. Is she hiding the king away because of the mental illness he has? He will be a good husband to you, a good father as well. Yo, yo, oh my god. <laughs> I've heard a rumour that the special licence you seek to marry has been denied. I wonder why. It was love at first sight. It was not. It was not love at first sight. What is he up to now, man? I did not want Miss Bridgerton to only be my friend. I wanted her to be my wife. Wow, so he's just basically saying how it is. Do you wish to marry this man? Take your time. Right, so they are officially getting married now. Yeah, why? He looks so scarred. <laughs> so sad. It should be like the happiest days of their lives. Now pronounce you man and wife. You got you got a kiss. Did the kiss? Now where is Colin? You can choose anyone but him. I speak your mind, girl. Lord Rutledge is no longer available. He is engaged. How terrible. <laughs> How terrible. As I'm laughing on the inside. Perhaps you know of a more private place where I might catch my breath? Oh, certainly. We will get Penelope's villain orc. I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but we cannot go further. Huh? Would you want to marry me? I would be delighted to marry you. <laughs> I don't like Marina. I don't think she realises that everything she's did in her life is her own fault. All the limited options, all the consequences she's had to endure. And yeah, this show is portraying her that we have to feel some sort of way towards her. But I don't see it like that. She's just annoying and just a terrible friend to Penelope. There are some things you ought to know. Involve you and your husband. Just say it, man. How difficult must it be to perform? It so this act, it is performed to have children. Yes. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, babies don't land on your doorstep via birds. <laughs> what if the Duke and I cannot have children? I mean, they could put a condom on. Like, when was the condom invented? 1844. They're 30 years too early. So we will be spending our wedding night at the inn. Needs must, you ungrateful bitch. Your room of grace is just over here. I requested a separate room. Yes. I'm sorry, you can sleep in the same bed and not do it. <laughs> Look how stressed they both are. They're both gonna have s tonight. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. We should go down to dinner. I am the one who trapped you into this marriage. I trapped you. Y'all are miserable. This is the type of romance drama my dopamine craves. How to be any more clear. Well, do you not get angry? I'm not angry. He's horny. Why do you think I followed you into that garden? Why do you think I went into that garden? To have open garden sex, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Do you want me to stop? If she says yes, she must be gay. I want to show you more. <laughs> more? What more could there be? <laughs> as much as you all love it, I'm just not that interested in the slow-mo of a man taking his top off. Let's just get to this bit. She's like, what is that? <laughs> hey, there's another man's cheeks. Well, I guess he has replaced Anthony. You feel wonderful. Well, I'm happy you do. I feel, I don't really know how I feel right now. I can't even lie. I thought we'd get a glimpse of it. I didn't actually expect to see all of it. Um, Bridgerton, ha. Oh. New Duke and Duchess of Hastings. Talking of the honeymoon. The only thing good about marriage after that, it all goes downhill, I guess. May I introduce you, the Duchess of Hastings? Right, so they're in a completely different place. Yeah, I just know things are gonna get tits up regardless. I have asked Miss Marina Thompson to be my wife and she has accepted. Where's Penelope? Is she crying in a corner right now? Do you think this is a joke? You compromise this young lady? Certainly not. I love how Anthony just acts like the big man of a house. He decides who gets with who. His own relationship is in the f***ing 
water. <laughs> I look forward to hosting our first ball. Indeed, Your Grace. She hates everything you say. Mrs. Colson's tour today was exceptional. I don't think he can hear you. I think you have to shout. That's how far away you are from each other. Oh, no. Much better, yes. Oh my god, are they all going to try to sabotage this marriage? Because she's not acting like a proper duchess. Where are we going? Oh, are they finally going to do it in the garden? I mean, it is their dream after all. Okay, I mean, right, we get they're in love. Like, how many times do we need to see them doing it? Again, again, oh, again. Nah, see at this point, I can't believe I'm saying it. I'm missing the Antony cheeks. Just because we only see it for a couple of seconds, I don't need to keep seeing Simon's butt. You look very lovely today, Penelope. Do not mock me. <laughs> oh, you petty bitch. I fucking love it. I do not pity you, Penelope. I respect you. You talk some of my a tripe, by the way. You did anything but respect her. Hereby decree every pig such a winner that none should be slaughtered. I gotta respect it. This show is meeting all the criteria in this modern age. Please stand. You should not be stooping in your condition. Wow, she's like the regen of Princess Diana, except much more dumb. <laughs> Swish. Swish, what does that? Good. What was that? What the fuck is that? Being at close quarters with his mother. Trust she knows when she's being managed. Look at the smirk here. Penelope is secretly the antagonist of this show. Oh dear, what can the matter? Nah, put it down, man. It, it doesn't deserve to be in this life anymore. Is this something about Marina? Her heart belongs to another. What? His name is Sir George Crane. Oh, Colin is not going to believe you, man. Yeah, it's true. I truly thought that with your family, I might finally find acceptance, but it is no use. <laughs> Everyone hates you. Wish we could be married this very minute. What if I told you there was a way? Colin, what is Scotland. It? Scotland is the answer to her problems. She better not fucking enter my country. You hate the idea. I... I love it. Ah, uh, shut up. You're not welcome here. Is there one available to assist you? I will ensure everything is done properly. She's basically saying you're a liability. Don't touch or do anything. You said that all three pigs win. No farmer win the contract. Basically, because you refuse to sell bacon, you've screwed everyone over. Master Simon, his childhood was not always easy. I just realised as well, Hastings is a man with daddy issues. Oh, is she going to tell Marina that the letter was a fake and that her man still actually probably loves her? George never wrote those things to you. He never denied your child. Do you know what's so cunning with this? Is that all of this actually true? I thought you loved him. This changes nothing. Your love is an unrequited fantasy. Colin sees you as you are. Oh God, who do I want to die more now? Her or Anthony? How does a woman come to be with child? You, your mother? Yeah, my mother told me nothing. Oh, and the pig! Oh my God, her world is crumbling upside down. No! Oh my God! Oh my God, you've actually just in her. Told you I cannot give you children. And will not are two in- Hello I'm currently editing this video right now and briefly for a couple of seconds I want to talk about the scene that just transpired. So first and foremost, trigger warning. This is quite a sensitive topic and it's something I didn't really talk about in the commentary because I was just in shock. I made a sinister prediction before as a joke and then when it actually happened I didn't know what to say. And yes, one of my coping mechanisms is to smile or laugh. I know it's dumb, it's just what I do when I'm comfortable. There was no bad intention behind it. But what was bad was what just happened. There's no sugarcoating it. She hard would him. Just because he's a man doesn't mean that doesn't happen. That's what happened. If the roles were reversed, there'd be no controversy. It would be. So I just wanted to point it out because, yes, and I know Daphne was annoyed by Simon because he's not telling her why they're not going to have children. But two wrongs don't make a right. You don't do that. And yeah, I just wanted to call it out because it's just, yeah, just because you're a man doesn't mean it doesn't apply to you too. But yeah, um... Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Miss Marina Thompson is with child. How does Whistledown know that? It has to be Penelope then, which is infuriating because that means my whole it's a man theory is down the toilet. Simon's not feeling too good now, eh? <laughs> so wait, I don't get, 
Is she going to be pregnant now? Welcome you back into my bed after your lies and deception. Rest assured. That well, I think that's the honeymoon over. I shall not let you out of my sight until we know whether you are with child. <laughs> yes, and if you are not with child, throw in the bin. You know what? Even if she's with child, still throw her in the bin. It is child will have nowhere else to go. It's supposed to be a charitable organisation. Even charity requires fun. Wow, you know your name is tarnished, even when charity rejects it. If the Tarns say that we still have the favour of the Duke and the Duchess, then the whispers may very well cease. I mean, it is all self-inflicted. I love how everyone just blames everybody else apart from their own actions in the show. Just as he's lost. Leander also lost his way and drowned. Did you just... Death threat, your own brother. <laughs> I presume you won't speak of what happened on your honeymoon either. Nothing happened. Just the casual intercourse and maybe getting my wife pregnant. It is clear that you find there is nothing left in our marriage. Nothing left. I mean, that's ironic coming from you as well. Is it what you believe? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, they're so bad to do it again. What does what does the saying go? No matter how many shits you throw at a wall, one's bound to stick. They can only hate and argue with each other for so long. That's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Um, I really hope you clean up after yourselves. Simon. If you are a child, then I shall stay and do my duty to support you both. And if I'm not? Simon. Simon is fickle. This guy changes moods, personalities every second. No one ever truly helped me or guided me in a different direction. Because of who? Come to me and told me of your situation. I would have married you without a second thought. Oh! Oh, no, no, Colin, you're far too pure, man. If you stopped trying manipulating and playing a game and just told me straight up your feelings and your situation, he would have did his best to help you. All of us together again. Lovely indeed. We should tempt scandal more often. <laughs> Who is she? Whistle down. The queen commands it. Of course. What? What if she doesn't? Is she going to get her neck chopped off? Here we go. I got to get up in my seat. Oh, but hit the fan. For us both to have been so duped by that scheming hussy. Come on, give me a bitch slap. There's not been enough violence in this show. Wait, did we even get a duel? I don't even remember if we got a fight. Did we get a fight? Oh yeah, Anthony built up Simon. Oh, that was so disappointing. I must ask you to leave. But I have an invitation. Not anymore. Bottom of the food chain, baby. Feathers aren't flying now. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it! Garden. I don't trust whenever Daphne goes into her garden. Do you never learn, girl? Girl, 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 girl. You taught me how to play pretend. Nothing of the realities of married life. Yeah, giving your daughter just vague metaphors and, and not actually explaining how the world actually works is quite a crap motherly thing to do, by the way. <laughs> I came here to apologize to you. To me. What? I wish it had not happened this way. George was a soldier. I really is supposed to be sympathy towards her. I just, I just, I, I'm sorry, I just can't. You know where he is stationed? General Langham and his wife are in London. Perhaps I could speak to him. Why are you doing this? When he clearly cares not for the outcome, he's at fault here. Wow, we've really just played the card of that. It's all his fault. Not the fact that Marina tried to play devil's advocate. Weave her way into a family that's secure so she can be protected. Bitch literally moved on. I mean, do we know why he's not rolled back? No. Could there be a reason? Yes. Is he partly to blame? Of course he is. But she's no saint. I make such a wager on your opponent that even half my winnings. My honor is not for sale. Oh, what a line. Now that is a man that just gets to the point, says it how it is. I'm doing this for my family too. An arrangement and both our problems will be solved. If you're that confident he could win, why don't you just bet on him? Not the opponent. Welcome to my den of iniquity. Place your bets. Is it milk? Oh yeah, Anthony's so in deep, man. Even the back of a head's woman reminds him of his lover. Fred, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You're correct, I do. <laughs> Wait, Anthony's quite funny. Did I just say that? I know my sister quite well. An unusually capable woman. She's not capable of f***ing up this severely. <laughs> You cannot possibly understand the responsibility of heading a family because you've never had one. Oh! Do you think he's looking down on you now? Ashamed. Oh, oh! Oh, yes! Finally! Yep, here it is again. Why are they going to make intense love and then start hating each other again? I swore a long time ago that I would never sire a child. I do not understand. Oh, just explain it to her then. I'm sorry most of your life has been traumatic, but bringing someone else into your life and not explaining it to them is just downright selfish. I cared more about the continuation of the Hastings life. Because of a vow? Yes. Bought him on his deathbed. And you betrayed me in our marriage bed. 
how we had to spend the rest of our lives miserable together. Do not at least do it like once a week though, just to spice things up. <laughs> Are you surprised? You just did it to him. Within the year. <laughs> did she bleed? Nope. Okay, see you next week. <laughs> I want to apologise. I may have been a trifle harsh with you. Why is he becoming decent? I don't like it. He's not staying a self-entitled egotistic. Are you pregnant? Or are you imagining yourself to be pregnant? Oh, that's so sad. I would simply like to understand your situation. Yeah, please, because I don't... I don't understand either. You're married. And our marriage affords my wife her freedom. Right, so you're gay. But does your wife know this? I'm no longer in need of your services. I've hired a team of Bow Street runners. To if she's actually laid the whistle down, I have, to, I have to applaud it. She's played my ass. Pick up a friend. I'm not bound by the rules of society. <laughs> Please do not tell mother. I'm not bound by the rule of society. But in any case, don't tell them anyway. <laughs> we will be dropping her at home. Your mama did not just help me, you know. What's happening? A word as good as gospel. Oh, is it Penelope? Or is it her? Wait, what? <laughs> ah, your lover's moved on. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? Marina? Are you still awake? Kill herself. Marina! Marina! Oh, well, Simon's gonna be thrilled. Oh, now she's never gonna have children. Nah, I bet you this season ends with them finally getting children. There's no way it just leaves it like that. Oh, that's so <laughs> sad. All right, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna go crap, man. I, I need to recollect my thoughts. <laughs> See you all for episode eight, the last one, goddamn. <laughs> I am getting comp for this one. I am registered out <laughs> at this point. We better find out who Lady Whistledown is or I don't care anymore. One can never know the truth of a marriage hiding behind closed doors. God, don't trust anyone. Be alone. <laughs> That's the message of this season. You are permitted to smile, your graces. I mean, there's nothing to smile about. Simon's became a dick. Once this portrait business is settled, I shall quit London. I've never seen such a contrast in character arcs in one season in my life. Madame Delacroix may not be who you think she is. That's all you're saying. She's Lady Whistledown. Is she hell? And if she is, I'm gonna look like a right idiot. Penelope, I assure you, I am well. Didn't she die? Why are you alive? So that means you're no longer with child. That is odd. I wasn't expecting any callers today. Is that the father? Did you just kill his child? Hope you're finding everything you need for Friday's ball. He did not receive an invitation. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh God, oh, she's so tiring. Oh my God, that family suck. Oh no, I need my bed. I actually need my bed. Seems a carriage has arrived back at the house. Mr. Crane is there. Oh, it is him. I had no idea soldiers such as yourself was coming to town. She got heartbroken and played mind games for that. It is not George, but his brother, Sir Philip. Is he dead? My brother George died on the battlefield. Why am I like, oh my God, I'm so sleep deprived. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible human being. If it were not for your recent inquiries, then I never would have known George. He loved me. And you threw his love in the trash and tried to get with Colin after a day. And you wonder why I think you're a selfish bitch. <laughs> Can withstand rumor and gossip. I know why you are here, Miss Eloise. Yeah, she's not Lady Whistle though. The Queen is enraged. Whoever was a should be careful. Oh, let it end. Oh, it's playing. Oh, my mind is absolutely brain farted. Oh, I don't even care who Lady Whistle is anymore. I just want it to happen. I, I don't care anymore. I'm doing this for your own good. Of Better off. Is without me. Oh, okay, this whole facade is going on far too long enough, man. Yes, he's doing it for her, but when push comes to shove, man, she's not gonna stop. Just tell her, man. She's a grown ass woman. What are you saying? Perhaps I lose. Perhaps that purse will be enough to keep us happy. I hope he becomes rich. This couple here, they have my thanks. They're the only sane characters in this whole goddamn show. I want to place a sizable wager on this match. You can take the deed to my house. Oh, no, he's actually gonna lose it, isn't he? It serves him right. This would be a great lesson on why gambling sucks. Very much like to speak to Miss Thompson. Marry you. After my brother. What? Ew, no. He would have wanted you to be supported. Allow me to realise my late brother's wishes. I mean, this is, I think, cute. But I don't know how I feel about going after your dead brother's girl. What is she looking for? Wait, what did she find? You know Auntie is gonna kill this man. <laughs> 
you're a virgin, I actually think this show might have broke your virginity just watching it. I won! Nah, something fishy is going on. Simon had trouble speaking as a child. What kind of father? What kind of father? Girl, he wasn't a father. That's the problem. You helped him. The Duke's triumph was his and his alone. Having someone like that in your life must be an absolute blessing. Whatever could be more honourable besides taking care of one's family? <laughs> it's something you don't do, Simon. I'll be willing to wager your wife says differently. Watch yourself. Oh, this is my guy right here. He says that who it is. How did you get it? I had an inside tip. Nah, there's no way they actually have a happy ending. The fell things better be broke by the end of this, or I'm going to lose all credibility to the show. I have a friendship with Genevieve Delacroix. Good for you, brother. Why is Anthony Small? Oh, yeah, he's back with his missus. That doesn't make sense, because when he was with his missus, he was a dick. You now have a duchess for a sister. It is my family, however, it's an entirely different story. Yeah, your family suck. Let the catch and talk. Speaking of suck, why is he singing? Ah, even calling the person of the lake's annoying. I've, his voice sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, you better give birth now. She didn't lose the baby. One last night before the discerning eye. This is it. This is the evening that spills all the tea. And all I could ask for is that the Felting's just go broke. I don't care who Lady Whistledown is anymore. I know Simon and Daphne are probably going to end up together anyway. I just want the Felton's to be broke. Come with me. My sister is now Duchess and the Duke, my brother-in-law. Because his family now have titles, he doesn't care if you might be a disappointment to him. Three dancers, would you say? Two. It is our ball, your grace. Should be none, you fucking lucky bitch. We adore you. Children always have done. It still does not mean I want any of my own. Ah, uh, just like, ah, uh, let it go. Uh, no, nah, here, I'm losing my mind. No, nah, th this is like a series of just Welch losing, losing his mind every episode. Someone special in here for me, I presume? Only the best for you, my lord. Is he going to get ambushed? Join us. <gasps> Poisoned? Death! I was a fool. Hey, you are not a fool. He merely believed yourself in love one should never. Why is she still talking? Just kiss her, please. I have something I wish to tell you as well, And Do not friends on her. I'm leaving. First thing tomorrow morning, I begin my tour. <laughs> oh god, man. Oh, I'd fucking hate to be her, man. Oh god. Her dad at Whistledown delivers her missus to a printer's press in Lombard. Right, and you're telling her that. Why? Oh. Apologies. <laughs> I thought about coming with you tonight. Yeah, no, what are you doing? What are you doing, to be fair? I am ensuring my own future. There is no one else who ever will. What are you spouting about? Go of him to the ball. Show face. I can't believe I'm defending Anton here. What is this bitch doing? You need to let me go. Oh, shit, we hit the fan. Oh. Lady Whistledown. Go, is this a trap? Is, is this a ruse? We agreed to one dance tonight. I miss dancing with your father. I didn't even question that. Where the hell is her father? Never be able to see your father again. I, I may. Right, so he's dead. Why is every death off screen? For a period, please, I'm very disappointed in the lack of blood. Is this where they fall back in love again? Daphne! Either she feels liberated, feels something else, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know why you made that vow to your father. She's gonna, yeah, oh, he's gonna be so pissed. Oh, I am tired of pretending. Aww. You can choose to love me as much as I love you. Oh, he's fight. Oh, look at his face. He's actually gonna crack. Oh, this is so sweet. There is news. What is the matter? What is your husband saying he is dead? What do you mean he's dead? And we didn't see it? <laughs> See, this is going to sound really sinister, but is she crying that her husband is dead or the fact that she's now broke again? If you do this, if we do this, then, then nothing else will matter. This is the first time. I love how it's took nearly the whole show for them to finally sound like a couple. I mean, to be fair, I don't hate this one. This might be the most meaningful one they've did so far. And this might be the one she actually conceives with child. Oh, he oh, he kept it in there. With Whistledown still on the loose next season, it'll be far more interesting. Are we really not going to find out who Lady Whistledown is? Oh, did she take up the proposal? Is she really going to marry his lover's brother? I do not recall seeing you last night. Imagine he actually killed them. You were with Madame Delacroix last night? Yes. It wasn't her. Come on, let it be a man. 
can't get Bridgerton wrong. It'd be my lowest point. Perhaps I will come forward one day. Oh, it's a lady. That is a lady's lips, if I've ever seen it. Though you must know, dear reader. Who is it then? Yours truly. Okay, whatever. Tush! Yay! They're with child. At least I got something right. I can't believe Bridgerton's actually humbled me. I'm... A boy. <laughs> A boy. All right, Simon, you've got one job. Don't do what your father did. That's all I'm asking for you. All right, umbrellas, you may know I'm in different clothes. That's because it's two days later after binge watching Bridgerton season one. Because I'll be honest, there was no way I was binge watching the latest season, season three of Bridgerton right after season one. There's only so much Bridgerton you can take in 24 hours, let alone 48 hours. But we're here now and we've missed out season two and we're about to binge watch the first four episodes of Bridgerton season three. First off, I think in season two at some point they found out who Lady Whistledown was and I think this season is the season where Penelope has to try and gain back her credibility or she's probably dead <laughs> it's one of the two secondly i do think anthony has moved on to a different girl because we saw in the last episode of season one we saw anthony get rejected by his lover he was pursuing for the whole season and with that look in his eye i either think he's killed her or he's got a hitman to do it i think she is dead somehow and anthony has moved on to bigger better things with simon and daphne i think i think they're just chilling honestly a few blimps with a newborn baby and parenthood being difficult but I think they're just chilling now. That said, without any further ado, let's get on to season three. Fucking hell, man. We have been apart for far too long. Is Lady Whistledown still a thing? It's good to be her. Uh, wait, she's still a thing. Oh, fuck off, Featherington. Seems as though your business is thriving. As is yours. Okay, so she knows what no one else does. What the hell did Eloise do for season two? Francesca, there's no need to shout. Is this like Daphne reincarnated? Perhaps we do not need to worry so much. Wait, Anton looks so much better without sideburns. And is this his new wife? Nation. Holy fuck. Wait, Colin's back. Oh, so I can't lie, he got so much better looking. <laughs> do you not wish to greet me? <laughs> oh, she still loves him. I feel like not a lot has happened then. Like the only thing that's different is Anthony has a new girl. She's still having to find who's a good suitor. I'm getting mad deja vu from season one right now. I suppose entering society means I might meet someone. Oh yeah, I actually think this Francesca is the new Daphne. And we've not seen Daphne yet. I'm telling you, I think her and Simon are just chilling in a beach somewhere with her kid. Is she not interested? Oh, fuck. It's not you, Colin. To return to society in good standing, our finances in order, and without any man. Well, nice to know she does not miss her husband. <laughs> did she find out who killed him, by the way, or did she not even care? Oh, okay, well, something happened between them. And is this the season where Penn finally gets with Colin? Is that why he's returned? Should be handsome. Someone who gives me butterflies. Someone kind. I don't even, does she even like men? Returned from honeymoon and already my son has left you to fend for yourself. Oh, so her and Anthony did get married. Who are you and why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> I'm grateful to have you close. Lady Bridgerton. Yes! She's still, oh, fuck, she's still here. My G, Lady Danbury. Were I to tell you even the tiniest adventure, I would be forced to marry you. Is he just a f boy this season? Pen. Oh. It is good to see you. Oh. Or was Eloise walking arm in arm with Cressida Count? Sometimes time moves rather quickly. Yeah, but your feelings do not. You still want Colin's D. <laughs> I take comfort in knowing that you will always be here to take care of me. You just called your daughter ugly. <laughs> what a bitch. I must take a husband before that happens. Oh! It is time. Okay, so in the first season, it was Simon and Daphne. I genuinely think it is Penn and Colin's time. She showed me kindness in the country when no one else would. And what of Penelope? We've simply grown apart. Ah, uh, did she find out who it was and didn't tell anyone? Like, she must have found out somehow and got pissed off. They did not know if you'd want to see me. Because you were worried I might reveal your secret. I do appreciate you keeping it. She does know! Oh! Now you have your life. And I have mine. It's Cressida. Ah, wait, wait, she got annoyed. 
that our friend was lazy whistle down that she befriended to her arch nemesis out of spite. Bridgertons, my apologies for the wait. Business. Oh, he looks so much richer. Go on, lad. Great aunt, Lady Kent. Very cold, lady. She is colder now. Oh, she's died. <laughs> wait, no, wait, why is that funny? Um, oh, God, off. Oh. Nicholas shall be the next Baron of Kent. And he just got even more richer. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, you know what? I thought there was a chance we may have moved on, but that was foolish of me. Uh, and he's now eating her out. Okay. Wonder what Whistledown will write about next issue. I'm sure she will find something or make something up. <laughs> She's so petty. <laughs> Not us. They stare at. Everyone's eyeing her up now. Is Colin going to get interested? What a striking gown you have on. You as well, my lord. Not, not the gown part, obviously. Yeah, she's not used to this. I have not yet selected a diamond. A diamond is precious. Is Lady Danby like the Queen's assistant now? I play the pianoforte. That is magnificent. <laughs> is Anthony looking out for her as well? I think Anthony's changed a leaf. Miss Featherington. Uh, excuse me, I am oh. oh, thank oh, things haven't changed, man. They're actually just still insufferable pricks. And I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, what, 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 you're so sorry for being friends with that bitch? I wrote to you this summer, as I always do, and why you did not respond? Uh, be maybe because you're friends on her. I've heard you telling everyone how you would never, ever call Penelope Feathering. What? Oh, you bitch! Oh, I wish I never liked you now. You of all people could be so cruel. No, Lady Whistledown's going to raise so many bad things about Colin now. Granting the estate to one of your daughters once she produces a male heir. Oh, is it a fake document? Find that this document is in fact forged before one of your girls. I wouldn't be surprised. The Featheringtons are so deceiving. It has been more difficult still to find a friend. I've not had many since my debut. I mean, it's deserved. But whatever Penelope did to lose your friendship, we are far more interesting. I'm inclined to agree with you. That's why I always hated Eloise. <sighs> <laughs> is this just Auntie's whole character persona? You the visitor, miss. Husband is what you seek. Let me help you. Help me how? Uh, by marrying her, man. It's the charm can be taught. We will have lessons. What do you say? You want me to shake your hand? I mean, a handshake is just disrespectful. Yeah, sure, a kiss may be too forward, but a hug. I shall see you soon. Is that whistle down? Dearest gentle reader. Oh my god, she talked about Colin in the newspaper. Oh, she regrets it! <gasps> Our queen, who has still yet to choose a diamond. Couldn't Penelope just write about that she could be a diamond? Think about it, people don't know who Lady Whistledown is. If Penelope writes that she could be the potential diamond, so many suitors would be after her. Colin Bridgerton, who seems to have embraced a new personality. Does Mr. Bridgerton even know? That's not bad. Oh yeah, he went to the army and became a new man. Does he even know? Duh! <laughs> if I ever find out, I will make sure it is her life that is ruined. Oh, this is getting so spicy. Oh, no, nah, nah, we get, we got to go episode two. So, so far, I think I'm bang on with my predictions because we've not seen Daphne or Simon once. Yeah, I thought people knew Penelope would be whistled down. Some of them do. So that's technically right. Anthony is a changed man, I think, which I did not see coming at all. That she thinks I am afraid of choosing a diamond. I hear my choice last year, Miss Edwina. Right, so the Queen picked a girl called Edwina who was a diamond of season two. Who is that? You'll follow me. How many rooms are there? 27, including the servants' court. 27 rooms for a family of five. And people wonder why there's homelessness in the world. Kent Estate has gone to the son of a boxer. What if some shopkeeper is next in line for us? Nice to see the job and class shaming is still relevant. <laughs> Perhaps there is a book I might read on charm. Are you saying you want my help after what Lady Whistled down, right? Uh, no! No, he's so gonna find out, isn't he? How delightful to see you all. Such splendid weather we are having. Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, the second half embarrassment is real. Penelope just isn't a proper lady. She's never going to be. She's going to be Penelope. That's who she is. Both of you might be presenting the family with an heir. Quite bitter. Never mind the tea. <laughs> never mind the tea. Have you been sh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is the season of fuckboy. And his name is Colin. Colin was the last person I expected that to be. This guy was willing to marry Marina Thompson within a day of meeting her in season one. You found me to be a lost cause. The truth is, you do not need a lesson. You agree, I am unteachable. <laughs> I'm sorry about whatever might be coming between you and Eloise. What exactly happened? I mean, Julie found out that she was Lady Whistledown. 
And when you do it too, I think Penelope is going to be in the trenches, man. <laughs> Everyone's going to want to kill her. Penelope. It would be better for me to meet you at the market instead of coming here first. We are not going to the market. What's happened? Why is she hyperventilating? But and the rest of your family. They're playing cards in the garden. It's because you may encounter Eloise. Where we shall begin. Me. I'm the perfect person to practice on. Yes, you are. Because the flirtation is real. <laughs> okay, what is wrong or right? Imagine what you would want to say to me if I were a suitor. Oh, see, she's going to f***ing ace this now. When it comes to anybody, she's going to flop her words. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are crying. I, I might say something. <laughs> oh, oh my god, no! He was feeling the authenticity a bit too much there. Eloise is here. You can hide in the study. Umbrellas, look into my eyes. Exquisite colour of blue and green. I mean, depending on if you like heterochromia. At that point, it could be quite ugly, actually. <laughs> in those moments alone, as my fingers trace freckles from cheek to collarbone. Whatever you read was not meant for another's eye. I mean, I was only reading your sexual intuition and thoughts. Your writing is very good. Perhaps we should pause for the day. I know, right? The way he described touching from collarbone to cheek. What happened between the two of you? We seem to grow apart. I only want to make sure she's not suffering. <laughs> yeah, I only want to make sure she's not suffering, even on the potential of death. I mean, if she's having mental issues or a concussion, that's fine, though. Mr. Bridgerton, I have yet to see you on the dance floor. Oh, wait. What happened to him and the, the dressmaker? And, oh, and what happened to the gay painter? I'm sorry again for reading your writing. You make it seem effortless, which is so difficult. Wait, what part is effortless? The writing or the way he caresses and seduces women? <laughs> you speak to at least one lord tonight. Him. What happened? His horse recently died. <laughs> Colin is helping her look for a husband. Scandalous of your brother. I think as scandalous as your forehead. Still bloody huge. Fast at the nightlight. Enjoying your time with the young lady? Are you courting? No. They are dogs. Francesca, dearest. My love for the instrument surpasses my ability. The absolute nose in that man. I could be an umbrella. I maybe with child already. Did you two? We began. What? Did we do it in bed? No, 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 no. We cut some shapes in the dance floor. Some. Good evening, Lord Remington. It's Featherington. It's a fine evening, is it not? Is he a child? Lord Remington has asked to call on me tomorrow. Do you like him? Feeling some type of jealousy? Featherington took his help. Yes, it will. It is kind of him. But... Oh my god, they all know. Oh, he better not be a dickhead, man. I swear to god, if he gets embarrassed at the fact he's trying to help Penelope find a suitor, he may be worse than Anthony. <laughs> Wait to you know what Lady Whistledown will write about this in the next edition. <laughs> and it's all your fault. It's all because you told the forehead. Tell anyone of my helping Penelope. I did not mean. Which means you did. Yeah, th yes, it does. What could Penelope possibly have done to warrant such maltreatment? Oh, Eloise, you snake. She's the antagonist of this series. Someone who performs not for me, but for themselves. She the diamond. Sparkling, one might say. That's a yes. And I bet you she'll hate the fact she's been chosen as a diamond. She has no interest in finding a husband. Do not be sleeping in your own bedchamber. That is not how it is done. We cannot. Yes, we can. Yeah, she's so not used to this social standards. Do whatever we want, Alice. This is our life now. Coming from the poor to high class must be such a jump. You'd feel like a fraud. Which is why, perhaps. What the hell is that form? Oh my god, oh my god. At least Anthony does it right. She would not find a husband on her own, that she had to enlist the help of Colin Bridgerton. Penelope's talking about her and technically the third person. The secret I told you in confidence. Or can you really just not help being cruel? Uh, you the one that picks your friends, you donut. But perhaps you should like to find a looking glass, rather than looking at me. Eloise is just as guilty. Not that you earnestly believed you might find a husband in your third year. Ow. Die! Oh my god! I don't think I've hated a character more in her in my life! Men can often cause much more trouble than they're worth. I shut up, try to give her closure now. You just called your daughter basically clapped for life! You have a visitor. Is it Colin? What's he doing here? Sad, stupid girl who believes she might possibly have a chance of love. You must not say such things. Okay, okay, he's giving her comfort. He's being a nice person. You know it's bad when just being nice for once is a rarity. Do you kiss me? <laughs> but I have never been kissed and I am not certain I ever will be. Oh, 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 she's trying to make her VL. She's still virgin lips. 
Maybe this may spark his interest. T take your time. Is that it? Oh, come on, a bit more. Hey! Oh, 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 this seems, oh, this seems genuine. Well, at least Penelope's fantasies have finally came true. <laughs> I think he's now conflicted. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Bridgerton might be the worst, but best thing I've watched in a long time. <laughs> I apologize for the late hour, but I had to see you immediately. Wait, what? My entire thoughts consumed by... By what? By our kiss. Yeah, that one kiss has made him realize, wait, maybe I actually quite fancy her. <laughs> <laughs> This is just a bit dumb though. I mean, I'm finally happy this is happening. But if we've learned anything from season one is you don't do it in a garden. <laughs> oh, it's a dream. It was unfortunate that Whistledown wrote what she did. I think Penelope is quite fortunate to have you as a friend. <laughs> friend, that was a thing of the past. We're now lovers. Suitor, Miss Francesca marries. Must be rich. Are they all poor? I've received word of an unwanted visitor. First, uh, there is a visitor for Miss Penelope. Oh, it's Colin. Oh! Oh, oh no. It looks strange if Whistledown had not commented. Here it may have been my fault. The rumour about you and Colin got out. Mm, you don't say. Would you like to come in? No. Thank you. I'm meeting a friend. A friend or what? Who? The one that f***ing snitched? But I do hope you find what you are looking for this season. Jesus Christ, stop being so awkward, man. You clearly want to be friends with her. You clearly still care about her. We cannot continue our lessons. What is your reasoning? What happened between us? No. Apologise for asking. Because you're not apologise. Have you apologise? Yes, but I... Oh my god, just, just kiss already. If we were to continue, I would embarrass yours as well. Yes, that is very... Like, god damn, just ask each other out. The most eligible lord of the season. You enjoy the evening, my lord. More than they are. Alright, well, he's a vegan. Cannot stay in my room forever, mama. I think I see a corner in which to hide myself. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just so sad. <laughs> I spoke to Penelope. I apologised for revealing the story about you two. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's not what he wanted to hear. <laughs> I have such a bad feeling he's going to find out who Lady Whistledown is as he's finally content with getting with Penelope. As with Daphne, you do not have to marry whoever the Queen selects for you. Where is Daphne? I really do want to know what her and Simon are up to. Are you in search of a new prospect to help you find a husband? Good luck. Nah, Penelope's own self-will was so impressive. <laughs> Are you assessing your pupil? Ah. Good evening, Miss Featherington. You enjoying the party? Yeah, this guy keeps popping up. He's gonna have a main arc towards Penelope. What did she write? I enlisted an eligible male friend to help me find a husband. I say. He's not even phased. Forgive me, I should not have said that. I find your frankness immensely refreshing. Colin's gonna get so jealous when he finds out this guy is pursuing her. I have come to a decision as to who shall be my husband. Lord Debling. So she's pursuing Lord Debling. Lord Debling is pursuing Penelope. And Penelope wants to pursue Colin and Colin wants to pursue Penelope back. But they're both embarrassed to be with each other. So with that, Penelope is going to coincide her interest with also Lord Debling. So not only is Colin going to be pissed at her, Cressida is also going to be annoyed by her. Lord Debling is good natured. And most of all, my choice. Why have you got worms in your hair? I had five boys. Took this every time. Colin, Lord Debling has shown an interest in me. To Colin's distaste. Am I missing something? Never looked at a woman and thought, oh, the way you eat cake turns me on. But you, I'm questioning my own sexuality right now. Mm, that whipped cream. Oh, okay. Wish me luck. I hope he dies. Magnificent balloon, isn't it? Have you ever ballooned before? Have you ever ballooned before? Wow, and you're the one taking the mech out of Penelope. Over here. Surely you will not deny me the company while I have the pleasure of it. Eloise. Ah! I, the tables have turned. But not only Penelope's cock blocked you, he's, she stuck your man. <laughs> what does it taste like Penelope? Must we attend tonight's ball? What is the rule? We can do whatever we want. I have a bad feeling their world's gonna come crashing down. I thought you, you were a... Uh, a man. Uh, because a lady could not possibly have an interest in engineering. Yeah, you're sexist. I came here to listen to someone who thinks differently. 
Oh, well, he's just fell in love. <laughs> Lord Samadani has been living in Vienna specifically to meet you. He's a bit clapped though, ain't he? Like, he's the only person I've seen this season with sideburns. That's what they've improved immensely. Production of sideburns and sexual scenes have in minuscule. Reminds me of all the cultures that are in France. Do you think that is normal? What? Went? I must feel your lips upon mine. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh! Oh! Would you look at that? Whenever there's a felon tune, there's trouble. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Why are you running straight on from her? Just move one yard to the side. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I'm sorry, that may have been the most dumbest save I've ever seen. What happened? <laughs> My ankle. I think I was hit by one of the ropes. <sighs> Who are you? Oh, is Mama Bridgerton gonna get some action? May I present what Sir Humphrey Davy calls a lamb? No. <laughs> you must secure a dance with Lord Devlin. We may have to wear these very dresses a second time this season. The struggle. It's like a Mexican standoff. <laughs> I love my family dearly. I wish to have eight children of my own. Her genitals will be screaming, man. <laughs> Looking for my daughter. I remember that feeling. Did she die? All since flown the nest. Oh, oh okay, okay. You have met my brother. Your brother? Ah, that shouldn't matter. He seems like a gentleman. She should go for it. She puts so much pressure on all her children. Is she even good? Good evening. We can enjoy the silence together. What? Please excuse me. I took you for a woman who values ideas over strength. Well, then you have misjudged me. Okay. Yeah, I would fall to my knees. Are you married? I was married. He died. I, I don't care. <laughs> Does being a part of this world not mean freedom? Everything has limits. I don't even know what that means. Well, I believe it. Nah, okay, this is getting ludicrous, man. The sexual tension is far too blatant. You, you two just need to talk out. Excuse me, I'm fetching Miss Cal for a lemonade. I am afraid I have not been honest with you. Oh? Grass. I do not love it. Oh, oh, that's good. I mean, I, I hate it too. If you have hay fever, you know. It does not bother you that I do not wish to spend my time exploring the wilds of nature. Heavens no. What has she got in her eye? Like, what, what is this here? He just gave Penn the drink he was supposed to give to Cressida. His priorities have changed all because she was honest on who she is. He should return at any moment. I'm certain of it. <laughs> but I thought you believed the best foundation for great love was friendship. Indeed, I do. Oh. I mean, it can happen, but it is just unrealistic though. Getting over friendship is like my grand coming back to life. Impossible. Uh, well. She knows. I hope she is as well. Oh, the mom knows. Finally free from your admirers. Are you well? There is a question. I think he's got a boner. But when all is said and done... Aye, it's feathers. He's a nice man. He's a nice man. But f*** off. Mr. Bridgerton. <gasps> I love how, like, the roles have basically reversed from the first season. This is exactly what Penelope did. But now it's Colin's turn to see what it feels like. No, truly, I feel sick. But I thought you'd both stop taking the potion. You did. Well, what does that mean? Oh, is she pregnant? Okay. Move more slowly. I must not rush as I am with child. Oh, so oh, you're pregnant. Bought you a plant so that you might continue to enjoy nature from your windows. So smooth with a man. Oh, he just is good for Penelope. And if all fair and love and war is true, Penelope should go with him. But I just know Colin's gonna ruin this whole ship. When you were asking about friendship, is there something you wished to discuss? Yeah, like you don't already know. Speculative question. I shall come down later. Where the hell is Anthony? The last time we saw Anthony, he was eating out his wife. Come to call on you. I do not wish to be called on. Ah, oh, you wish to be loved on. Or our hearts. Didn't her husband just die? Lack of society that has brought me back. Not to mention a lack of ladies. Feeling are united. <gasps> Hosting the most exquisite gathering. Chance, perhaps, you're our match for Miss Francesca. Just realised, is her husband the king dead? There is a caller here. Yes, bring him in. It's going to be Lady Danbury's brother. <laughs> or him. I mean, it makes sense. Francesca's actually interested in him. May I join you a moment? I should like that. 
Oh, because they enjoy silence. What? <laughs> Imagine flirting by being silent and it working. Oh, this guy is rises off the charts. Will they know each other if they do not speak? There is another caller here, my lady. Oh, this is even more fascinating. I was just leaving. I do not wish to interfere. This is blasphemy. And he is the third lord to suggest that you must give up the club. It'll only cause further confusion. I'm keeping my club. Yeah, it's heritage. It's the origin of who he basically is. She forgets where she comes from. Must think only of Lord Deblin today. Why has she not been shot yet? Oh, come on, nah, give me some fighting, man. At least in the first season, there was some arguing, some punching. Time and time again, to stories of love. Miss Featherington, I'm happy to learn that you have a passion. God damn, this guy is charming, ain't he? Ask for the young lady's hand. If her mother gave her blessing, do you think she would say yes? She's got everything she ever wanted, and she still has the audacity to look at Colin. I mean, that's the answer in itself. Oh, oh, oh okay, we are, we are seeing nipple. Wow, did Colin forget what it feels like to be touched? <laughs> There's Lord Kilmartin. Are you interested in him? Yeah. Enjoyable music. No, the pace is too fickle. What are you spouting about? If you'll excuse me. What, what just happened? I am so lost. I came to see that you are well. Miss Bridgerton, if I may speak to my daughter. Daughter, that makes so much sense with that forehead. Not to be seen with that Bridgerton girl. Why? Sure, the girls of summer made your trip quite fulfilling. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the men in this series are so boring, aren't they? But it is tiring, is it not? Have a leer about the one thing in life that holds genuine meaning. That's literally what I'm saying. Like, it actually is so tiring just seeing everyone be a womanizer. Find a bit of romance and shut up. It's Featherington. Did he ask for a blessing? I did my permission to propose. Oh! oh my God, wait, what did she do then? Cause she actually does like him. But her first love is Colin. Oh. I do enjoy my privacy, but but what? Do not become greedy in your success. <laughs> Says you, you hypocrite. Be smart, Penelope. And if you will not be, then I will be for you. I mean, she likes him, but I don't think she loves him. She loves Colin. What does she do? She likes to stay home tonight. Living to please others. I do not blame you for putting on armor. Oh. The armor does not rust. You might never be able to take it off. Oh, she's so good with words. Her metaphors are elite. I hear Penelope may be getting a proposal tonight. Ah! <gasps> oh, nah, this mom's a legend. Just like that, Colin's about to chase her like a dog and a cat. Have you come to steal away my daughter for a dance, Lord Debling? May I have the honor? Nah, nah, see, I, just, I generally just do like the guy. Nah, screw main character energy. Penelope should end up with Lord Dabbling because it's completely Colin's fault. Why did they make everything so complicated? Just tell each other how you you feel it's not that hard stop trying to get embarrassed about society and do what you want it looks as if your sparkler is shining brightly i love how lady danbury is at the helm of all plot scenarios should you not be careful talking to me i am that bridgerton girl after all <laughs> my father will have to endure it he's a fool <laughs> i just don't buy their friendship it's so weird oh here we go is he plotting? Is he planning on how to ruin Penelope's night? I do not know what you have heard, but I ask that you leave me out of your raking about town. <laughs> she absolutely despises her brother. <laughs> Lord Kilmartin, so much so that I do not feel much like talking. I mean, that's what you prefer. What are you talking about? In fact, our preferred form of communication. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. To get you this, you believe in the power of a gesture. Wait, what did he just give her? Lord Samadani, Kilmartin. I, mean, I do feel bad for the guy, but I also don't. This guy travelled all the way from Austria to pursue her, and he just gets rejected like that. I have been tender all week. Is she pregnant? Mama said it is a clear pregnancy sign. <laughs> I bet you she's raging. Excuse me. Oh no, here we go. Is everything alright, Miss Featherington? It's not. It's really not. It's not about to be. Do you imagine that love may one day grow? My work has such a large portion of my heart, may be difficult. Did you just say? To the person you're about to propose. Oh yeah, my work takes over my life, so I'm not going to love you. Your brother is walking right up to Penelope and Lord Debling. Do you mind if I interrupt? I'll leave you to it. I would be more than happy to finish your dance with you. Oh wait, screw this guy too. Oh, if I'm Penn, I'm just moving away at this point. I've made my peace with what Lord Debling has to offer. I'm going to accept his proposal. Colin just turns around and shoots him. <laughs> Stand by and watch you make a mistake. The only mistake 
was me ever asking for your help in the first place. Oh, 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 that's going to tug on the heartstrings. Why is it you sit at your drawing room window so often? All week I've watched you search for someone. No, no, no. Speaking of Mr. Bridgerton. We are friends. Nothing more. But would you like it to be more? Yes. Potential I make a match with someone whose affections are not already engaged elsewhere. The hypocrisy is mental. You just said to her, if you don't know if you have room in your heart to love her. Where is he going? Do I only matter to you if I have a Lord's engagement ring on my finger? Yes, <laughs> have you just known that now? He said that the heart is forever making the head its fool. Call I'm gonna chase after her. My butt is clenched. Is my ass sweating? My ass is sweating. Lord Kilmartin, the music we heard earlier this week rearranged exactly as I imagined. Nah, nah, marry him. Nah, just marry him. Nah, this guy is resident on a level of his own. If you think anyone in the world could get a woman by one, being silent, and two, compose a piece of music that you briefly talked about to her liking, I mean, you just can't compete. Penelope. <laughs> I'm sorry, how did you just catch up to horsepower? Are you the Flash or something? I need to know, did he propose? Uh, no, because of you, he actually rejected. In fact, he rejected me because of you. Thank you. I swear to God, he better make a move right now. Leave me alone. I cannot. What if I did have feelings for you? What? <laughs> to stop thinking about you, about that kiss. Are they better to do it in the carriage? Don't say things you do not mean. It is everything I have wanted to say to you for weeks. Why haven't you then? Oh, it's a fury! <laughs> I mean, I know why you haven't, but it's dumb. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh we're gonna see him doing the carriage, aren't we? Wow, she actually go out the friend zone. See whoever's driving the carriage, man, they must be scarred for life. Yo, filming this scene must have been so hard, man. Colin, Come on. we're at your house. <laughs> Keep the carriage driving. <laughs> What are you doing? Colin. You're coming with me. What? Oh, he doesn't care anymore to be seen for. Oh, that's so cute. Are you going to marry me or not? Wait, what? No. Ah! Ah! Ah, and I need to wait a month. Oh, that ending was actually adorable. That was so cute. And we may as well save her that. Because we know that's going to come crashing down when he finds out she's Lady Whistledown. But yeah, Bellas, that was Bridgerton first and last full season edition. We binge watched season one and the latest season three. I don't know if I'll do that again. If you want me to do that with other shows, please let me know by leaving a like and comment because this took a lot out of me. My socials and Patreon are down below, Bellas. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day and night wherever you are. I'll see you all next week for another extravagant video. Or mid video yeah anyway i'll see you next week goodbye <laughs>